Now when we talk about our own planning in our own homes, we have what we call diversified portfolios. We have different ways of planning for our financial futures and caring for our financial needs. And the same is true in a congregation or any ministry for that matter. Uh, it, it puts a congregation in a position for the long term that, um, that creates many cases of another steady flow of income for a congregation. Many times these endowments and foundations, like in the case of, of Easter, uh, provide vital ministries that the congregation has been doing. I think about some of the scholarship work that you've done for people who have been participating in global mission projects. Uh, and I think about the various ways that you want to imagine your mission future here and how these kinds of gifts, uh, while they can be given now, can also be imagined uh, out into a future, a vision for this congregation that you cannot yet articulate. One of the things that Easter Lutheran Church did in its wisdom when it was establishing its fund was to really decide to be freed from the task of being an investment club and instead being freed for the task of inviting people to make gifts to ministry. It would certainly be my privilege to be able to meet with you in your home to start with a simple conversation about the values that matter most to you in terms of what you need to accomplish with your planning for yourself and for your family, but then to also hear you talk about the things that bring you joy, the ministries of this congregation and the ministries of the church and other organizations that you would like to support, and then to ultimately help you think about um, the most tax-wise and effective ways that you can use your accumulated assets in order to help you accomplish your charitable intent. Uh, I'd be happy to receive a call directly from you or an email, and that contact information you can receive by contacting the church office here.